Hello, and today I'm going to show you how to repot a Madagascar palm. Um, for this, I have a, I believe, a 15 inch pot. Um, I try to get a little bit bigger so they can kind of stay in there permanently, like these guys here, um, so they don't have to be repotted because it can be a little bit of a hassle because of their huge thorns right here. As you can tell, they're pretty big. Um, so what you're going to need for this is you're going to need a towel to wrap the guy up. You're going to need a pair of welder's gloves and you're going to need some dirt. Um, they like really well draining soil so I have just regular potting soil and then I have river rocks and then lava rocks in there to uh, just kind of break it up. It works really well for my other guys. Um, and then also to help promote draining I put holes in the side here and then the two big holes down here. Um, this is a nice pot. I got it at Lowe's for half off. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're going to first fill up the pot. I made this beforehand because I usually do a lot of repotting of these guys because I got a whole bunch of them a while ago. Also, my cacti love this type of soil too. Okay. So I guess it's pretty much mostly filled to the top. And now what I'm going to do is wrap this guy. Um, you can see he's got little pups coming off of the side of him. So you have to be very careful not to knock one of them off. Got the rocks there, so I'm just going to throw them in there. Now to do this, I just use an ordinary towel. You're going to gently wrap him up. And um, because I learned the hard way that their thorns can also pierce through the towel, I also put welding gloves on. And I put just regular rubber gloves on just because I don't want to get eat uh, dirt in case I have a cut or anything like that, like a paper cut. So you're going to lay it on its side. be a little tricky getting it off with a towel on, but I try to do my best. As you can see, he's really outgrown this pot because the roots are starting to come through. And you can see he's a little root bound right here, here. So then what I do is I break up the roots. I would definitely say that having the welding gloves is a must for these guys, seeing as they will like to prick you. <clears throat> and then when you're trying to place them, you have to take the towel off. You want to center them as best as possible. And once you have them placed, put the dirt around. not really much different from just potting a regular plant. It's just that you will need the welding gloves to protect yourself. Um, I've tried doing it with a towel and as I said before the towel just you still get pierced through it. Um, the little guys are a lot easier. You shouldn't need another person to help you. But with the big guys like these, especially when they have more than one larger stalks, you're definitely going to need someone to help you center it. 
my hubby likes to uh, hold down the Madagascars with a torque, a, uh, what is it, a breaker bar hunt? With, um, so he doesn't get pricked because he doesn't believe the welding gloves work. Uh, let's see. Once that's pretty good, well in there you can. Take your gloves off and just. Okay. And this pot should last him an extremely long time. They do kind of like to be a little roof bound. Seem to help them. All right, so this guy is potted. After that, I would water him a little bit just to get some water down in there. Um, like I said, this guy you could definitely do with one person, but when you have a big wide like this, where you have the two stalks here, you're gonna have need to have to have somebody help you, just because it can get very hairy real quick. And what you would do is you would put support in between these two two uh, trunks, and then you put support between these and. What I do is I zip tie them all together so they're all one and they don't get damaged. Um, so I hope you found the video informative and enjoy it.